So we think we're healthy. In the case of women, there's either a healthy woman or a woman who is perhaps not healthy. And we're going to talk today about what that means. And so for a woman who's healthy, why would they need to take any kind of supplement or a product that purports to help their health? For a woman who has recurrent urinary and bladder infections, the case could probably be easier to make. Well, I'm going to present to you today some information that says, you know what, we think we're healthy, but we're really perhaps not as healthy as we'd like. So, for example, one-third of women in the United States, aged 14 to 49, in which this study was done, actually have bacterial vaginosis at any given time. Now, what is bacterial vaginosis? Well, it's a condition where essentially the beneficial bacteria that we have inside the vagina and naturally occurring on the skin, lactobacilli they're called, that they have really essentially uh, vanished, been depleted, are in very low numbers, and they're replaced by organisms that are potentially harmful. So this disrupts the, the, what we call the urogenital area. Now remember the bladder is normally sterile, so we're only talking about the lower extremity skin and the vaginal area. Okay, so then, then we say, well, what happens if that flora, the term flora is often used to describe these organisms. And remember, every single person in the world has bacteria. In fact, with 10 times more bacteria than human cells. So it's perfectly normal, even for some people, it will feel strange to think that they have bacteria on them. And so, in many women, these organisms actually self-correct and the lactobacilli comes back and the woman never develops any symptoms. So that's why we don't have many, many women going to the doctor every single day of the week because uh, at this prevalence rate it would be obvious that many women potentially 